How's it going, everyone? It is Ethan Run Encoder. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Twitter. In this episode, we go ahead and start thinking about how we are going to swap around components inside of our default modal to make it an actual registration modal. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code and get started. So now that we got the top piece, what we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and make a section to kind of render out the middle piece. Or what essentially what we want to do is we want to go ahead and render special content for the part that they're filling out. So we want a special swap components based on the step. So that's what we wanted to go ahead and do next. And what I'll go ahead and do is make a util class and say new file and this will be register modal utils dot tsx and inside here i want to export const determine uh determine modal content this is going to take in the step which is the number and it's going to return a jsx element so here's going to be where we kind of export or kind of switch in between. So switch and on the step. And now here we're going to say case one will return some div or a span for now that says uh, registration. Step one, case two, we'll return registration step two. Whoops, step two. Case three, we'll obviously return registration step three. Case four, we'll return registration step four. Case five, we'll return registration step five eventually. And then step six, or case six, we'll return registration step six eventually. And then default, let's return an empty fragment. So now we can go ahead and call that inside of our register modal. And I think we're done with register counter .css and .tsx. We can get rid of that. I don't think we need that anymore. So now we will call this method. So we need to go ahead and import. And we'll import, um, I forgot what it's called already, determine modal content from dot dot slash dot dot slash utils slash register modal utils. And then inside here, we'll call that method. So then it'll say determine modal content with the step save. And now if we go ahead and take a look at our application, you'll see registration step four. If we change this to one and save, you'll see registration step one and so on and so forth. And of course, if we say start at three, We'll start at registration step three. We go back to one, so on and so forth. So now that is good to go. What we need to go ahead and do is kind of get some content uh, CSS here. So let's go ahead and fix that up. So I want to wrap this inside of a div. So div class name is going to be equal to reg or register dash modal dash content and we're going to wrap this in here and we're going to give it a little bit of css to beautify it and paste that and go into our css register modal.css and we're going to say register modal dash content this is going to be very simple it's just going to have a width of 100 percent going to have a height of fit content for the time being that may change we're going to have a display 
flex. We're going to have justify content center. And we're going to have align item center. So all this is saying is whatever uh, thing that we put in the middle of this, it should be centered. So now if we take a look, nothing happened. Terrific. Let's see what's going on. I must have spelled something incorrectly. And now you can see that it's not very big right now. Um, so the height is just fitting the content. But as we add more in here, it's going to grow. We'll eventually have like a scroll bar if we need to. Now that we can kind of switch in between these, let's go ahead and take a look at actually filling in some of that area uh, and content. So the first step that we have is actually going through and adding in the first name, last name, email, and I think that's it. And the date, date of birth. So let's go ahead and clear some things up here. And I'm just going to clear everything for the time being. And I'm going to go ahead and go into our components, our register, and I'm going to make a new folder. And this is going to be um, form one. So this is our registration form one. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new file. I'm going to call this form one dot TSX. And maybe I shouldn't call it form one. Maybe I should call it register form one, I guess. So new, I'm going to rename this to register form one. Just to be safe. Register form one, new file, register form one dot TSX. And I'll go ahead and make a register form one dot CSS because I'll probably need it. So my goal right now is just to make it so we can actually go about adding people in. I'm not going to worry about the styling so much of these forms. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and move that. R-A-F-C-E. Okay, export const. Cool, cool. So now we're going to go ahead and of course make this a react.functional component. I don't see that it needs a... Uh, uh, prop we're going to go ahead and call this div class name uh, I'm gonna just call it reg step one container react is a little bit weird to classes so you have to be very specific about what you name them um, and then we're going to have a div dot um, reg dash step dash one dash content i guess emmet is working and this is going to be our form area and i don't know why i have a button area in here because i think i am going to go ahead and just have the button be on the bottom so that's good and this will be where we take in user input so user input area i'm going to move the button outside of this because i don't want the button in there and then, of course, inside of our CSS, which we need to import, import dot slash register form one dot CSS. My mind went blank for a second. And then we're going to go ahead and make something for our container for a second. We're not going to touch the content for now and say dot this. And again, we're just going to make it with 100% of our parent. We're going to have height be fit content because eventually we will probably go ahead and make a scroll bar. So now we just need to go ahead and import this into our util class because this is what we're going to go ahead and print out. So we'll say user input area for register one. And inside of our util, we're going to go ahead and pull that in. So we'll go into our register modal util. We'll import our register form one. And now guess what? We're going to return that register form one. And save. Now if we go in, we caught if we go into our page, you see user input area for register form one. I'm not sure why that got scuffed with CSS, so that's not great. We'll have to take a look at all of that. Um, maybe it's because no width is 100%. Register form one dot CSS. Register step one container. Whoops. Just making sure all this is good. 
register form one dot css i'll have to take a look at that in a little bit why it's not working with the css it's not too big of a deal i guess i can just make sure that this is in fact spelled correctly and everything okay i'll deal with it in a little bit i suppose i'm not sure why it's not working i guess we can take a look at the css real quick register modal css Everything should be fine. It's inside of content. Take a look at register modal.tsx. It's inside register modal content. So maybe I just have to do a little extra work. It's fine. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.